Oh, there we go. This one has vocals also. That's what we want. I mean, at least for that type of uh, micro looping vibe. Okay, nice. So we have this loop. I dropped it in here. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to create one note. There's going to be one bar. The note itself, it's up to you. That's the pitch of the sampler. Maybe something like that. Yeah, something like that. Okay, nice. So this is our note. This is our only note in the progression. And how we make the progression is with playing with the position and maybe the other controls. The position is the most important thing. So I'm going to automate this. And we're going to start, let me fold the browser. We're going to, let's expand so we can see more of the automation lane. And we're just going to play around with this. So first of all, first point, where are we starting? Uh, let's uh, bring up the grain size to be a tiny bit larger. Nice, let's go back to the position. And let's say uh, in the second bar here, I'm going to put a point here and let's find a new place. We started from here. Mm. That's cool. It should be two bars, so let's put it here. But uh, that's the idea, making the progression with automation. And you might have heard this sound before because it's so popular right now. Let me consolidate this, Command J. Let's continue here. This is our next. Now we can also play with the grain size here, which will give us the speed of the looping. Uh, so let's say uh, automate that. Let's first of all, I'm going to right click on the position, show automation in new lane. So at least we have it down here. We can see it. Let's click on the grain size and we're back here. Uh, if anyone still kind of exploring automations, we do have a whole class on just automations. Okay. If you want. Uh, okay. Sweet. Let's say maybe we'll start a bit. Maybe sound like this. And let's speed up our BPM, so more housey maybe. Nice, maybe we'll slow it down here. Okay, I, I, I'll, I'll keep this, but I want to show you some other examples because hopefully you start already seeing just by doing this that we already have a progression, a really nice progression going on here that we can just start adding to it. If your loop also have bass, you will also get it with bass. Like if I now throw a different thing into it. Ooh, let's try this. Uh, it will probably give me a different thing that is also cool because we're taking these progressions, the only progressions, but we're creating new micro looping progressions out of them. Let's uh, go back to our position and we can play with that. So I don't like this. Now, just a tip here. I'm not going to go to the points and change them. I'm going to go close to the line, and then I can select the entire line, okay? And I'm going to click here so I can play from there. Mm, love that. No? Wow. Okay, so let's change that from there. Nice. Maybe we got some vocals here in the beginning. Nice, let's take the pencil over here. So filtering for the intro. Okay, hopefully you get the idea. Let me know if there's any questions on this technique that is amazing. You take a full loop, you can make the loop yourself. And then you make one note. The note itself, it's your, uh, I'm going to consolidate, highlight these two notes, Command J. Okay, it's new in Life 12. The note itself, it's up to you. What's the pitch of the progression? Okay, or if we go 
hold up. Excuse me. Mm. Okay. Um, and then we automate the position of and make kind of make our progression with automations instead. Grain size. Now, shape is very important here. If you remember, shape is uh, the volume envelope of the playback. Okay, nice. So I love this technique. Uh, probably one of the best uh, thing you can do with the granulator to quickly come up with musical ideas because it's it's instant. You can come up with some super cool stuff because we're using existing loops. Okay, uh, nice. So let me know if there's any questions on this. We're going to move on. Okay. I have a quick question. Yes. Um, when you're playing that. Um, the loop itself has its own progression in there right there's it has its own changes mm -hmm. and the note you put is is i mean the midi note is arbitrary I don't, it's kind of like I, the height of the pitch it doesn't mean that that's the actual note of the progression oh okay so that's a very good question uh we should treat this as a sample just like we use sampling, uh, no worries, Marcus. Um, just as we use uh, sampling, uh, we'll have to figure out what's the, what's the new progression that we make. We can kind of tell that the original key of this sample is E minor. Is this the one? Yeah, it's also. It's E minor. So if I put the sample and play the note C3, just like any other sampler, that is middle C. C3 is middle C, that means that it's playing the sample in its original pitch, which in our case, it's E minor. And we can hear it's the same right here, it's just looping. Uh, so then we can kind of, from that, calculate our transposition. So E, F, F sharp, G. Okay, so we're in G minor. Now, if I would do something more like start here, like do a whole different progression, like not even using this stuff, uh, I start. I, that's my, I'm, I'm gonna start, that's my first chord. That's my second, uh, guys, uh, you see how amazing this is? I don't know if- uh, Yeah, it is really, really it's interesting. It's insane, it's insane. Uh, by the way, there's, there's you people can make who made- the... Progression so quickly and easily. So, so quickly and easily that I just kind of like uh, wanted to share it because it's such an amazing technique to quickly come up with full songs essentially because then I can continue this, duplicate, and do a whole nother one, okay, that is a different progression from the same one creating a B section. Okay, it's, uh, it's quite amazing. But just everything is based on this granular micro looping, which is super awesome. Um, sweet. Let me know if there's any questions on that specific technique. I just want to show you other ones and we might come back, we'll probably come back to this to build more on top of this, okay? Um, let's uh, do some of this generative ambient textures and explore also the different modes in the granulator. Any questions on this one, micro looping? I'm going to leave I this. I have a let's... question. Yes, please. Uh, yeah, 